Say a parent had a house that looked a lot like this, but a child really wanted their space to look like this. My mom's a therapist and she just told me that she sent my Deco DNA personality quiz to a few of her clients, which I found very interesting. Obviously she didn't share a ton of details because she can't, but theoretically, if that parent continued to insist that their child's rooms look like this and the child felt unvalidated because they wanted their space to look like this, that could cause a lot of issues. And adding language to help discuss the difference between this room and this room gives a person a lot of power in being better able to communicate their needs. And that's the crazy thing about my interior design decorating profiles. They're not based on interior design styles that are popular. They're based on three different visual preferences. And here's the confusing but important part. You have to take away the color from a picture to really understand the style that's in the space. I'm not saying the color is not important because it absolutely is, but to understand the underlying style, we have to take away the color because it'd be very easy to say you didn't like this particular style if you don't like the color pink, but maybe you do like the style, but just not the color pink. And that's why you have to take away the color to really understand the style. When I look at this picture without any color, I can tell that the color palette is very subdued. It's all kind of one tone. There's not a lot of variation between the light and the dark colors. And then we're gonna look at the quantity of stuff that's in the space. There's a lot of flowers and things on the shelves and a lot of pillows. And the trick about quantity is that it's not just the stuff that's in the space, but also like how much patterns are in the wallpaper and the curtains. You see how these curtains are really busy. There's a lot of layering in the curtains. That gives a lot of texture to the space. So the style in this particular room is very maximal. And you could make it more maximal by adding wallpaper that had a lot of detail and design. And the last of the three preferences is probably the secret sauce. And that comes down to the different shapes that are in the room. This is a refined space. You see a lot of intricate carving and lines that mimic nature in a symmetrical way. And this video is getting long, so I'm gonna stop here. But if you wanna learn more, you can pre-order my Deco DNA interior design book in my stand store and get a killer deal. When it's all finished, I'm probably gonna charge $100 for the entire book. But right now you can get it for 10. Follow for more.